Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the UROC Home Live Tour of the Gladson Ripley Residence Hall. My name is Courtney Soulsby. I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to start my sophomore year as a nursing major, and I'm actually from Fayetteville. So feel free to ask us any questions as we go through the building today, and you can ask me anything about Fayetteville or the university. Um, we'll be sure to answer all of your questions. You can just leave them in the comments. Yes, please comment along and well, I'll try to read them out to Courtney so yeah. she can answer them. <laughs> so Gladson Ripley was actually first called Gladson House and Ripley House before they combined the two to Gladson Ripley. And Gladson Ripley are both two names that we got from past deans here at the university. And um, I'll show you some of the stuff surrounding. Yeah, where are we here? We are actually right next to Buchanan Droke, mm -hmm. which is kind of, you know, the neighboring building. Sometimes they call the two together Badger. It's like a little nickname. Um, so, yeah, if you get packages, you'll pick them up from Buchanan Droke. It's just kind of your neighbor, your frilly little neighbor. Um, over here we have Yoakum, mm -hmm. Humphreys, and Gregson, which is really convenient for students because yeah. in the basement of Gregson, they have something called Class Plus, which is just help with you know schoolwork and papers if you're ever struggling they have resources for you in there behind you i noticed there's no uh grass yeah. and i think they're just doing some landscaping I figured i'd call that out yep. just a little bit of landscaping that's going on there it will be green and grassy by the time you <laughs> show up here yep so over here you're actually right by the football stadium which is really cool and um the basketball arena is over here as well you're close to the hyper which is a gym facility that's available to all students. So that is super convenient for you guys as well. Did you ever go to the Hyper? I went once. Yeah. I did go once. It's really nice. Um, I would suggest going there, you know, as much as you can. Sure. Whenever you're available. Um, just for fun. It's a good stress reliever. Over here, as far as food goes, you're closest to um, Bruff, which is a really awesome place a dining hall for you guys um, I didn't get to go there a lot because I lived on the other side of campus but it's super nice there's a lot of options um, you're also where did you live I lived in a Reed, okay. Reed Hall gotcha. hey do you mind saying hello to Emma and Hi, Ed Emma. hey and what was the other Ed? one Ed hello Ed <laughs> right on. I'm glad you guys are with us um, so yeah you have Bruff you have um, Starbucks which is awesome to be close to it's a good study place um, Slims and where the Walgreens are and Rocket Taco. So those are places that are really good for meal trade, which you just use your meal swipes there at night. And you can eat a breath whenever you'd like. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You're right close to a lot of buildings where classes are held, so. Just upstairs is central, or just up these stairs over here is the central part of campus. Right. And Dixon Street. Yeah, so this is like the best place in my opinion for you to be as far as location goes. Um, you know, all the business classes are right there, and you're pretty close to the Union, so it's a really great place to be in. Sure. It's hot out here. Let's it get is inside. hot. It's hot. So we're going to go inside. Hey, thank you. Well, hello. Hi. Hey. Who is this? My name is James <laughs> Alley. I am the CRE of Gladson Ripley Hall. Uh, CRE stands for Coordinator for Residence Education, so we are a master's level professional that actually lives here on campus. Uh, my job is I oversee 12 RAs, including the three that live here in Gladson Ripley. Uh, my buildings on campus are Gregson, Gibson, Buchanan, Droke, and Gladson Ripley. Uh, so my primary functions are daily operations of the building, overseeing the resident assistants, uh, and then any way that we can help you. So are you just constantly running uh, from building to building to building like a kind Superman? Of, and times. Uh, yeah. it, it does happen that way sometimes. Um, actually, I have uh, spent half of my office hours up at Gregson uh, Hall this upcoming year, and then half of my uh, office hours will be down here at Buchanan Droke as well. Uh, so that way I give equal opportunity and time uh, for these two buildings as well as the two buildings a little bit further up the hill. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, um, anything you might say in specific about Gladstone Ripley? So Gladstone Ripley, uh, a couple things that we'll look at downstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, this building actually got some new furniture uh, in the TV room as well as a brand new study room. Uh, all of which was donated to us. Well, not really donated. It was actually given to us uh, from the athletics department. Hey, thank um, you, athletics yeah, department. Yeah, absolutely. Came uh, from Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. So it's uh, super nice furniture. Students have loved it. It's very unique uh, to this building. There's no other building on campus that has anything like it, which is awesome. All right. Uh, but yeah, that's. We're just really happy that uh, Gladstone Ripley will be home. Fantastic. Well, let's um, go ahead and head inside then, cool. and you can show us our handy dandy fob security system. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. So first we're going to show you guys where you will get your mail. Mm -hmm. So you can email with your number for your mailbox and your combination. And this is where you'll get that. And like I said earlier, if you have any packages, you'll pick those up in the lobby of Buchanan Joe, which is right next door. Old school. Yep. <laughs> right there. Those are the little lockers that you get. You said you said you'll get your combination uh, yes, through your email. email. Okay, yes. Okay. Fantastic. And the packages go over to uh, Buchanan Joe. Right. And you also get an email. So if you get a package, they will email you and let you know that they have it for you. Nice. Hey, would you say hello to Alan? To Alan? Alan. Hello, Alan. Alan uh, was in Glad Service where he stayed his freshman year in the late 80s. Oh, he loved wow. his time here. His daughter is going to start in fall at HOTS. Oh, awesome. I Legacy. Love that. love that. I love that. All right. Thanks for joining us. So we're going to head downstairs. Sure. And this is a three-story building, I believe? Yes. yes. Houses 101 co-ed students. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we get asked, um, Jake, about how we divide Male and female. Is it by floor here, or is it by like side? Yes, it's on. It's by floor. So the uh, basement level floor here that we're on now is male. First floor is also male, and then the second floor is female. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Okay, we're heading down the basement hallway. Got your water fountain right here. Yes. Uh, this is your trash chute, which is super convenient. Um, that way you don't have to take your trash out every time. You can just bring it here, open the door. Your trash in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very convenient. And does it shoot down from the third floor, I think? Yes, it does. Okay. So that's cool. And then over here is the kitchen area. Okay. So we're going to go in here. So this is really cool in case you want to bake some cookies or mm -hmm. make a pizza or just, you know, you like making your own food. You can rent any pots, pans, kitchen material at the front desk. Use that whenever you like. You've got the sink, the oven, the microwave, the stove, an ice machine, a fridge, and then this cute little table if you want to eat with some of your friends. <laughs> you say rent, but really just check them out. Right. Like, there's you no just, cost you associated with it. Of just course, check it's, it's free of charge. But now, did in Reed, did you do a little cooking, or how did that work? You know, my RAs cooked a lot for us. They were really cool. They would have like pancake breakfasts and stuff. I had a lot of friends that made muffins in there, or had taco night, made their own dinner. So, nice, nice. Yes, it's very, it's very good to have, just in case. Oh yeah, we'll get that light. <laughs> Save some energy. Save some energy. Okay, and then over here. Recycling center. This is where, yes, this is where you're well, recycling. We have recycling in every building, so we're big on that. Mm -hmm. And right. The bins there for yes. recycling. And then right in here is our laundry room. So you're going to have three washers and four dryers. And we have this really cool thing here at the University of Arkansas, and it's called Laundry Alert. There's some information about it on the wall. Basically, you can just take a picture of these little scan here codes, or you can download the app, and it will tell you when washers and dryers are available, so you don't have to come down here and you know, fight for them. I know a lot of people sometimes try to wash their clothes at once, so it's really nice to have that, to know when you can wash your clothes. Also, if you, you know, put in the app that, say you're using this washing machine, it will send you a message when your clothes are done, so you don't have to come down here and check on that either, so. How often do you typically wash your clothes when you're living in the Um, Honestly, I would do it, I would try and do it once a week, but, it's hard when you're living with a bunch of girls. <laughs> Everybody wants to wash their clothes all the time, so I would suggest, you know, finding a time when not everyone's trying to wash their clothes at once and sticking with that. <laughs> yeah. Good advice. Good advice. Yeah. But, so next, we're coming here. All right, I was going to ask you, said you're from Fayetteville. Yeah. Um, where are the people who are listening? Where are you guys from? Uh, let us know. Is there any tips or tricks you would offer about moving to Fable? Things you absolutely have to check out. They have um, farmers markets all the time, which I would totally suggest going to whenever you're free. Um, Mount Sequoia is a really cool place to visit. It's a really good lookout. It's good for picnics. It's a good stress reliever nice. when you're not in here studying. Um, this is a really good study room, actually. So it's a good, 
thing to have a study room so you don't have to walk to the library every time you want to do homework. Um, it's a good place to get away from your roommate if you need to and get stuff done. <laughs> so do <laughs> every now and then you have to do that. There's these cute Razorbacks on every chair, if you now, can see that. These are the ones that you were talking about, is that right? Yes, these are the ones that uh, we were able to obtain from uh, Athletics when they were doing uh, or purchasing new furniture. So these are the only pieces of furniture that we have on campus uh, within housing that actually has that logo engraved on it. Nice, nice. Yeah, silly. Special edition. Yes, exactly. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say to uh, people use this space mostly for study yes. or are there other things that they use? Yeah, so for? this room is mostly for study. Uh, mm -hmm. This actually last year was uh, a ping pong room. Okay. Uh, they had a ping pong table in. Uh, students were asking for more quieter, quieter places to study. Uh, so we decided to actually pull the ping pong table out of here and move it over into our recreational room, the TV room next door. Uh, we were, like I said, able to obtain all of this furniture for study. Uh, so that way it's an easy place to close the door, have a quiet place to, uh, to work and make sure uh, you're successful. Absolutely, very good. So I guess we, there's another side to this. Yes. There's the other side. We'll go check that out right now. This would also be a really good place if you, you know, have friends in the same classes as you to have you know group study sessions and help each other as much as you can that'd be a great place for that now this is the fun room mm -hmm. it's like a really good common area there's two vending machines which take apple pay which is really right cool. have you used your watch yet to uh Absolutely. buy anything yeah Absolutely. yeah it's kind of feels like the jetsons the futures <laughs> so that's really nice to have of course you have your ping pong table which is under repair Okay, okay. It's a minor. It's in the shop. It's going to be going to the shop and get repaired. Master your ping pong skills in here. And over here, this is a really good area. Like I said, you have two areas, really. Yeah. Um, this one is. This one would be a good place to hang out with people, meet new people. And this is a good place, I would say, to watch movies with your friends and, you know, have, have a space outside of your room to hang out in. I really liked the common areas. Um, I actually met a lot of people in the common areas that I probably wouldn't have met otherwise. So I would definitely suggest coming down here and hanging out when you have time and playing games and watching movies and making friends. And did you did you make friends and make some friends and read? I definitely did make a lot <laughs> a lot of friends and read. Some of my best friends now are people that I did not know at all before college. So be Fantastic. social, you know, have fun, meet as many people as you can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, here's another trash chute. Yes, okay, so trash chutes on both sides. Another trash chute, and this mm -hmm. is one of the bathrooms. As you notice, there was also one on that end. Mm -hmm. uh, these are male restrooms, since this is the male floor. And in here you have three sinks, a big mirror, two stalls, two showers, a nice little hook. Yeah. I would, Let's dip into that yeah. shower stall and see what's going on. Yeah. And Definitely suggest, um, you know, I bought a cute pair of shower shoes and had a little shower carrier for all of your stuff. It makes it really easy. Um, definitely convenient. I'm Where did you get your shower shoes? Right? Tell me how you um, Old those. Navy. Old okay. Navy has every color flip flop you could ever. So imagine. just a flip flop, really? Yes, that's what that's what, I, that's what a lot okay. of people a lot of people do. It's just like a dollar pair. Of a dollar pair of flip flops. That's good. Super cute. Any color. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Great. Here's another water station. Mm -hmm. I think um, the bathrooms on the first floor maybe had even more showers. Yes, they do. So there's two in there, but there's four, I believe. Yes. On since, the other since the capacity on the first and second floor uh, is a lot higher mm -hmm. of, of residents, uh, th those bathrooms are a little bit larger than these since uh, we have fewer residents on the basement floor. Sure. Do you know, um, do you typically have upperclassmen or first year students here? Primarily first year freshmen. Okay. Uh, so we, we house here. Uh, we do have some students that will return because they love the community aspect mm -hmm. of it. Uh, but primarily we are first year freshmen. Excellent. So now we're about to head into a room and we're going to head into 104 and offer some measurements and other things that you may want. Let's showcase some of the stuff in the room itself. So there is a peephole which comes in handy. So you know who's knocking on your door. Mm -hmm. um, here are two racks for towels. Mm -hmm. You know when you get out of the shower. So those are super convenient. Um, now both people in the room have their own thing to hang their clothes up in. 
and it has a mirror. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about bringing your own mirror. Don't have to worry about that. That's okay. super nice. Um, yeah, you get your own mirror there. We had a question from Julie who asks, how many people share a bathroom? My daughter's living here. And I, how many people on this floor, I want to say? On this floor, um, this one side, there's only four residents. On the other side, maybe eight, 10, 12-ish uh, okay. on those sides. Um, but upstairs will house the rest of the students. Um, it is definitely bigger on that side. However, the, there's a clear divide between the two, uh, between the two sides of the floor. Uh, t primarily, the students on the left side of the, uh, on one side of the building will share that one bathroom, the others on the other. Uh, as for an exact number, I can definitely find out. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I think upstairs, at least on one side, which they're the ones who share the bathroom, mm -hmm. there's probably what? 10 residents on each side, maybe? No, it would be, be more than that. Okay, okay. Uh, it would probably be yeah. more like 20, okay. 25, 26. Well, actually, so. we'll get that number for you. Courtney yeah. is being nice enough to answer our questions after the show. So, yes. um, yeah, we'll get there. Um, Ed asks, are the rooms carpeted? And yes, this room is carpeted. I think most of them are in this particular yes. hall. Um, there are a couple that do have some uh, some laminate flooring in them, mm -hmm. uh, but primarily both buildings, uh, Gladstone Ripley and Buchanan Drove are carpeted. Yeah. Right. So let's um, show off. Let's see. We showed the wardrobe. Mm -hmm. We showed the desk space. Yes. You each get your own desk. Uh -huh. You each get your own set of drawers and yeah. this little mini desk with a drawer on it that um, you can bring your own lock if you want to mm -hmm. and lock that up if nice. you feel the need. And uh, something I'll point out here is there's a piece of paper on this particular one. It's because a resident has said, hey, would you loft that for us? You want, we don't want their bed lifted a little bit. Right. This one's been lifted a little bit from its default height. And so you're more than welcome to submit a request to have your uh, bed lofted. Do you want to tell them how to do that? Yes, you can go to um, UR. Is it move in or housing? Um, this one is uh, housing.uart.edu and then slash forward fix slash fix it. Okay. Exactly. So yes, there you can send in a request. Um, they'll loft it wherever you, you would like, wherever you tell them to. Um, it's a really awesome thing to do. I personally loft in my bed for um, storage space. I put mm -hmm. you know my own drawers under it and it was a really good use of the space. So you know, you can do whatever you'd like with that. And there's these um, add-ons which can be put on if you sure, want. Sure, sure, and those take it up even further. Right. Um, Emma is going is asking us for the inside of the closet again. She'd like to see the inside of that closet. Hey. Let's go in there and check a look around. Okay, so if we just go over it completely, we've got a bar there and a, there we go. Okay, and then the mirror there and the closing door. Right. Ed asks, what are the measurements under the bed, trying to determine if a futon will fit? And at its maximum height, I am almost positive a futon will fit, but we're happy to measure yes. the where it is right now. Um, well, he might, does he want to know, you know, this way for maybe how long? Oh, sure. oh, right, okay, so the length. Right. Um, yeah. Because I'm sure he can get to a, a point. Sure. Would you mind holding that? Sure, absolutely. So that is about 81 inches. Yeah, so the frame, inside the frame is about 81 inches. Right, which okay. sounds right because this long ways is 80 inches. Mm -hmm. um, actually this one, yes, this one's 80. Yeah, go ahead and give us the mattress measurement. So this, let me make sure it's on the end. It's about 35. Mm -hmm. It'll be it could be 36, 36 yeah. I think is what we got there on that one. Yes. And then. And then. Yeah, here, I can, I can hold this side. So, that's this might be one of the scenarios. This says 79. Okay, it's probably 80. Yes, that's what I was Just to be standard on it. Um, and I think it's going to be 80 on the other side, too. Right, there, they should be the same. And uh, Buchanan Droke, because of where the door fits, Sometimes we have to have some 75s on the door side versus the window side. Right. Um, Emma asks, what are the dimensions under the bed that is lofted? So in this case, let's go ahead and give the under okay. as well. So from here. It's 
about 30 inches. 30 inches right now right. is the clearance there. And then Ed asked, what are the measurements for the window curtains? What is the best way to hang a curtain? Usually, we recommend a tension rod. Yeah, on the yeah. inside of this See how there's um, a little bit of space up there? You can mount a tension rod there and then go over to the other side here and put it there. You're not able to drill into the walls, of course, because we have to take care of these facilities for a long time. But, so were you that, able to get the measurement? Yes, it's about 100 inches, so if you do get a tension rod, that should. 100 inches would do you? Yes. Yeah. And that is the best way to hang curtains is through a tension rod. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Well, let's see if there's anything else. Any other questions for us or for uh, Jake, the CRE of uh, this area and countless others? Uh, many, many others. You wear many hats, my friend. <laughs> there's also a ceiling fan in here, which I wanted to point out because yes. that's very nice. To have. So Buchanan, Drogon, Glides, and Ripley are one of only uh, three buildings on campus that have uh, ceiling fans in the room, which is very unique and nice. Uh, this one also, uh, you can run air conditioning uh, year round. We don't decide uh, based on our facilities uh, what, you, what is available during that time. So uh, that's also a really nice feature as well. That a lot of buildings may not have. Yeah, so typically some of our buildings run all hot, all cold, so they change over at certain times of the year when the weather gets to a point where we can trust it to be cold or hot. Exactly. Whereas here, you have the ability to just dial that knob in exactly. and get what you want. Um, Ed asks about are both beds twin XL? I believe they are. Let's just go ahead and get a measurement on this one. Okay. But they're all 36 um, yeah, that in that sense. dimension, but let's get a length as well. Can you hold that for okay. Yes, this one is also about 80. Okay, about 80, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so very good, very good. Um, any more questions before we sign off? We're so glad you joined us. Um, again, where's everybody from? I don't know if I missed that earlier in the chat feed. Also, feel free to ask us questions, um, you know, after the fact. You can still leave comments on the video, and we'll be sure to go back and answer those. Yeah, you guys. we will be monitoring even after the show. Um, will the dresser, Ed asks, will the dresser fit under the bed the way it is lofted now? Yes. Will it sit under there currently like at it. its current? Yes. Uh, okay. it, it may, since this does have a little bit of a lip here. Yeah, I see that. Uh, you may have to kind of lift the bed up a little bit um, to place it under there, but it will definitely fit. Okay, fantastic. Um, grab this real quick. Nope. Sure. And Ed asked, can they sit in their bed when it is fully lofted? Um, let's see, I would think when it's fully lofted, there'd still be enough clearance with the ceiling to sit. Absolutely. You couldn't stand and jump on it, but right. you could sit <laughs> and, and be like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. I'm king of the, king yeah. of the room. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, uh, hey, Ed from St. Louis and Julie from Dyersville, Iowa. Hey. Hello. Very nice, very nice. So glad to have you uh, uh, coming in. Well, I think we'll go ahead and sign off then. And so, um, yeah, anything you want to say to your incoming residents? We are just so happy that uh, Glides from Ripley will be your home in the upcoming year. Uh, we look forward to seeing you and uh, hoping to help you have a successful year. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, be sure to keep up with our calendar and see you know, what we're going to be touring next and tell your friends so they can watch for their specific residence halls. And we're just really excited for you guys to be here next year. So thanks for watching. See you in August.